A group under the aegis of Ogoni Liberation Initiative has underscored the need for proper environmental remediation of a polluted site in Ogoni land. The group called on the federal government to decommission a multinational oil giant asset in Ogoni. Total decommissioning of dilapidated assets and facilities in the Ogoni land to enhance effective and comprehensive cleanup as recommended by UNEP for high threat execution. Mm -hmm. Two, establishment of well-designed clean and purified water system using the latest international recommended water technology for the Ogoni communities to enable them to drink a clean water. Three, a well-established public health registry for the entire Ogoni populace in order to determine the health trends of the Ogoni people as recommended by UNEP. Four, an establishment of Center of Excellence with Integrated Contaminated Soil Management Center for environmental restorations in Ogoni land to promote learning and researches in other areas impacted by oil contamination in the Niger, in the Niger Delta and other areas in the world. The group also spoke on its plan to take legal steps against the Minister of Environment, the multinational oil giant and high prep board of trustees, adding that the move is not to disrupt the cleanup process but to create a platform for a peaceful resolution with the federal government. The Ogoni Liberation Initiative has developed an innovative strategic economic and business recovery plan to ad address the issue of economic activities and job creation for the better future and for benefit of Nigeria and the Ogoni communities. We are therefore calling on the Federal Re Republic of Nigeria and the President to comply and compromise with the Ogoni people on the simplest method presented by the Ogoni Liberation Initiative to partner with the government of Nigeria to resolve Ogoni crisis. We will not accept any form of oppressive political manipulations of anything that belongs to Ogoni people, which will not give us a successful result. We have registered our cases in the law court of Nigeria in order to go by the dictate of the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to decide our right. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.